What is up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, what's up? I'm Courtney. So today's video has been highly, highly requested. Um, it's my hair care routine. Um, I am going to kind of give you guys a little rundown of everything I've put my hair through in the past year because it's a lot. And then I want to kind of share some products that I've been using that has helped me get my hair back to its healthy state. Yeah, with that being said, let's just get right into it. I am going to put a bunch of pictures here while I'm talking just so you guys can see what my hair has been through. And girl, let me tell you, I have put my hair through shit. Like, I am surprised there is even still hair on my head. Anyways, getting right into it. So, um, I started cosmetology school back in March of 2018. Um, here is a picture. My hair was super blonde, super fresh, super fun. Like, we're loving it, okay? In a pretty good shape, if you can see here. So then April comes around, right? And my hair is starting to look a little bit yellow. My roots are coming in. And so I'm like, girl, I really need my hair done. Being at cosmetology school, you were on the same schedule, usually as like salons around you. And so I was like, it's fine. I'm in school. Might as well let one of the girls here do it, right? So I did. I let one of my friends highlight my hair for me and it was great. Um, but it did turn out a little bit warmer than I wanted it to. So I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'm going to go get toner myself and tone it so it did that so here is the before of what my hair looked like before toner and here is it after the wella t18 um i actually did film that video me toning my hair and it was kind of a big hit so like if you guys want to go check that out i'll like have it linked somewhere right up here so then i was like you know what i need my hair's cut like i want to change i just got a fresh color let's go ahead and cut it and i was like i'm bored let's chop it off like i wanted above my shoulders Okay, I'm feeling kind of frisky. Yeah, this is how it turned out. Mm -hmm. So the instructors did fix up my hair for me and now this is what my hair looked like afterwards. So still blonde, short and cute. Whatever, she's thriving, okay? I don't know what was wrong with it there and that, you know, in my mind. Obviously something was still wrong with it, but looking back now, I'm like, girl, like your hair was fine, you should have left it alone. But I didn't. Looking at it, I'm like, you know what? It's already blonde, you might as well be platinum, right? Might as well be. So I told one of my friends from school to come over. We have the bleach and everything. Let's go ahead and just bleach my hair. <laughs> this is what it looked like when I bleached it. <laughs> yeah, so it was pretty bad, pretty fried. You know, like when you're blow drying your hair and it's bleached, if you've ever bleached your hair and had it damaged, it's like, gets stuck in a way when it's like wet. I don't even know how to describe that, but that's how you know it's damaged. Your hair's damaged, girlfriend, it feels like that. I'm blonde at this point. I show up to school and my instructors are like, what the hell did you do? What did you do? Your hair is terrible. Like we cannot have you look like this. Thankfully, we have theory and stuff in the morning. So sometimes we actually have people come in and they teach us new te techniques with like balayage, highlights, whatever it is. So this girl was coming in from, I don't remember where, maybe like Salt Lake City or something. And she is a really well-known Wella hair colorist. Is that the right term? I don't even know. I thankfully got to be her model. And I think this was like a week after me being this bleach blonde. Um, so this was me the day of, and then this is me after. So you would think that's where I would stop, right? just be like okay girl like your hair it's calmed down now like you just bleached it it went through so much shit and you had to get it fixed by a professional and no 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 i didn't stop there after a while it started turning green that wasn't that wasn't the vibe i was going for i didn't really want green hair at the time so that was in june and so now we're in july and i decided that i wanted to color my hair brown and just start over because if you just Color your hair brown, you can just progressively go blonde, right? And everything's gonna be fine and you can just start over. <laughs> so I thought. So I had my friend come over again we got some hair color and I was like, you know what? Let's just color my hair brown. It's gonna be great. So here we are coloring my hair brown. Here she is with brown hair. She's cute, she's fresh, she's fun, she's thriving. You're probably wondering like, okay, her hair's brown now. Like it looks great. You know, it's probably, she's probably just gonna let it, you know, heal and be healthy and mm -hmm. no, I didn't. August rolls around and I'm like, I want to be blonde again. So I actually had my friend come back over and put blonde highlights in my hair. So here's me with blonde highlights. Here's a lovely video for you guys to watch. 
um, because I don't know where my pictures are. So you can kind of tell it's starting to get a little bit damaged, not looking as, you know, rich and fresh. The color doesn't look shiny. It looks dull and dry and damaged, basically, is where it's at. Whoops. But that didn't stop me. <laughs> no, it didn't. So I wanted to be super blonde because, like, at this time, my ex-boyfriend was out of state for college and I was getting ready to go see him and I wanted my hair blonde. Like, blonde, blonde. So I bleached it again. Um, here's me with the bleached hair. Here's a little video from school that I had um, of a little bun updo type thing we did. Um, it's pr it was pretty blonde, pretty blonde. And that was September. <laughs> so I'm like not giving my hair any time at all to heal whatsoever, at all. And then October rolls around. So here's my hair in October. Let it chill in October for a little bit. So here it is. Um, as you can see, again, it's dry, it's dull kind of looks damaged which it was but then November comes around um, November beginning of December comes around and I am getting ready to graduate from cosmetology school and there's this thing that they do where you have um, a free day so you just get things done by all the girls at school so I was like oh my god this is great like I'm gonna get a pedicure I'm gonna get a facial and then I was like um I might as well get my hair colored <laughs> Might as well, right? Like, what else would you do in cosmetology school? You color your hair. I don't want to be brown, but I also don't want to be all the way blonde, so, like, let's do both. Here is the results of that. So, it's pretty dark, and then the bottom is just pretty blonde. I don't even know what color you would call that. And then I also have green contacts in. That's pretty freaky. We don't know who she was back then. We do not know that Courtney. Rolling right into January, right? New year, new you, whatever. Um, decided to color my hair just full on black. Just full on black? I was like, you know what, let's just do it. We didn't stop there. No, we didn't. Nope. So that was literally January 4th. I colored my hair dark. I literally, I can't with myself. I feel like I needed to make this video to realize how much damage I put myself through with my hair. And I'm super sorry. Like, if I could apologize to my hair, I'm so sorry. Like I was saying, that was January 4th. And then... Also, getting a new job, going to a new salon, and oops, having girls there who also do hair. And one of the girls there was just starting to do hair extensions. So I was like, girl, let me get some hair extensions. Like, I want hair extensions. Pfft, what? So I'm like, oh, but I don't want them to be just like dark hair extensions. Like, cause that's no fun, right? So she's like, yeah, well, usually like we recommend having, you know, two colors of hair extensions for dimension, whatever. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Like, let's color my hair then. So we did. This is me getting the hair extensions put in and after the color. So we did kind of put some um, highlights in there in my damaged, damaged hair. Don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but you know, it's just hair, right? It's just hair. I did that. And then afterwards I walked out of there like, you know what? I'm missing something. So I wasn't like feeling myself with the long hair. I just like didn't know how I felt about the hair extensions. So I was like, it needs something. Ding, ding, ding. Bangs. Bangs. So I cut myself bangs. <laughs> um, so here I am with bangs and long hair. Like that's, that's kind of cute, right? Yeah, I didn't have like a problem with that at all. Except, except, this is the only problem I had. These were Keratin Fusion Bond hair extensions. My hair is super, super thick, super coarse, super curly. And hair extensions obviously are not that. They are going to be straight, and that's that. So when I had them, I couldn't, you know, get close to the root, obviously, to straighten pieces. Because if you get that close, you're going to warm up that keratin bond, and it's going to make that, you know, adhesive come apart. And your hair extension is going to come out. So basically, I ended up wearing my hair half up, half down almost the whole time I had these hair extensions in. Because when I had them down, also, the um, hair color was a little bit off, as you can see here. So that first layer of my hair, because my hair was so short to begin with, um, you could kind of see just like that ledge where it jumped off. So that is why I actually got them eventually taken out. I think I only had them in for a month tops, which is pretty crazy because if you guys don't know, Keratin Fusion Bond hair extensions are not cheap. Mine, you know, I obviously did get it a discount because I worked at the salon that I got them in, but still, buying that hair is not cheap, like at all whatsoever. So I did get those in January 24th, and then I got them taken out February 21st. So it wasn't even a full month, but pretty close. Here I am after I got them taken out. Um, on the verge of tears because if you can't tell by this video look at how thin my hair was because obviously with my hair being so thick 
And for the hair extensions to blend properly, you have to, you know, go in with your thinning shears and thin out your hair. And then March rolls around. <laughs> And I look in the mirror one day and I'm like, you know what? I want to be blonde again. <laughs> so here I am with balayaged hair. Dark roots. Look at how damaged it is. You can tell. Um, yeah. April rolls around. Hello, April. We're getting into spring. You know, summer's just around the corner. We want to be even more blonde. We don't want that dark roots. We don't want those dark roots. So here I am in the salon bowl. Getting my hair blonde again, bleaching it, bleaching it. <laughs> so here's some pictures of me with my hair after we just bleached it again, put some highlights in it. You can see how dull it was, how damaged it was. It was freaking terrible. It was freaking terrible. I just don't know what was going through my head. So I let my hair be like that all the way up until June 1st. And then I was like, you know what? No, I want to be platinum blonde again. So June 8th, I went and got my hair done, got it highlighted. This is it. Yeah, I'm obsessed with the way that looked. Blonde. Super blonde, super icy. Super cute and pretty ready for summer whoop whoop. Yep. Well over time, you know the toner fades and your hair gets brassy And so this is what it looks like when the toner fades, you know, it's time to like get your hair done again ended up just toning it So then it's like July, right? <laughs> your girl um, gets cheated on so she decides that she wants to be a brunette So I ended up getting my hair colored brown. Mm hmm I did so this is it. Oh my god. You think it would stop there? <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> Half this video is going to be me just talking about all the shit I put my hair through. Hope you are enjoying this. Courtney can't have dark hair for that long and not have any dimension in it, right? So she's like, you know what? I want more low lights. <laughs> Somebody punch this girl in the freaking face and tell her to stop touching her hair. <sighs> so here I am with brown hair and low lights again. August 16th. Which I really did like this um, hair color. I actually ended up keeping this for a really long time. So I kept that hair color all through August and September. October rolls around. Here is my hair still in October. Same color and everything. I just took some updated hair transformation pictures. Another picture from October. You can still tell the, you know, how damaged my hair is. Really that top layer looks super, super damaged. We're almost done, I promise, with me talking about how much shit I put my hair through. So then we go to January 28th and I decide I don't want to be two colors anymore and I don't want to have to go to the salon and continue to color my hair so I just decided to go pick up some hair color and I had Maddie color my hair all over level 5 so here's her doing that it's, it was a really great time I got to teach her how to do my hair <laughs> and um, this is the aftermath of what it looked like but then February 7th rolls right around and I just had this epiphany that I wanted black hair <laughs> I don't know why I'm just that's just it's just me okay so I just went to the store real quick before a night out with friends and got some hair color came home and I made my mom color my hair yeah, for me mom, boom and boom and the last time she just did it was actually in one of my recent YouTube videos boom and boom now we are all cut up I'm so glad you guys could just get caught up in my life like that um but now we're going to be talking about the products that I've been using and that I have used over the past year to get my hair to where it is now after all of that so before I show you guys these products, I just want to say that um, I did buy all these products with my own money. This video is not sponsored and um, there is one brand that I do have a lot of products from, but it's just because I personally really love that brand and I love the way the products work on my hair. Yeah, no, this is no joke, huh? I bought all this. Yeah. I'm gonna share all those with you guys and some tips that I've been doing to let my hair be in the state that it is after putting it through all that shit. So first things first, shampoo and conditioner. I use Lange, um, that's just the thing that has worked best for me. I have a shit ton of different kinds here. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite kinds though from Lange is the Keratin Protein Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, I'm out of the shampoo, shockingly, usually the conditioner goes first for me, but I love this guy. The uh, soy protein helps repair and condition. The coconut detangles and smooths and the sage maintains a healthy scalp. Love that. The purifying ones are really great too. The Marla oil. I don't even think I said that right. Reparative. Charcoal. So those are all my shampoo and conditioners that I love and have worked wonders for me on my hair. The thing about washing your hair 
let's just talk about that for a second so actually if you're somebody who washes your hair every day that is actually super 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 bad for your hair your hair needs to have the natural oils and everything that's really good for the scalp and it's if you're stripping that every day from your hair it's actually really bad for your scalp if you can I know it can be hard I've been doing this since elementary school so my hair is super used to it at this point I know a lot of people are like oh my god I could never not wash my hair every day like my hair gets so oily like it takes time you have to train it but you it's doable you can totally do it um just try to you know first day wash your hair style it whatever second day maybe do some french braids in your hair third day maybe put your hair in a cute little messy bun there's a lot of different things you can do with your hair to try and train it to go longer without washing it for me i personally go four to five days without washing my hair sometimes it can be hard if there's days i look at my calendar and i'm like oh i really want my hair to be like down and straight and a lot of volume and everything then I'll be sure that I wash my hair a couple days before that so it can be like fresh or I do wear it in buns a lot just a cute messy bun I do that quite often when I get out of the shower I brush my hair with a wet brush if you guys don't have one of those you should definitely go and get a wet brush the bristles are let me just show you let me grab mine so this is a wet brush mine is falling apart i have two of them so this is one that i don't really use but this is a wet brush the bristles are just um more gentle on your hair and what you want to do when you do brush your hair is you want to brush from the bottom up if you're brushing from your scalp and you're doing this you're just ripping your hair girl stop doing that it's so bad for your hair stop it for me personally i try not to put heat on my hair a lot um, recently I have been, which is weird because we're in quarantine, it's not like I'm going anywhere. Days that I do decide to put heat on my hair, um, I will always, always, always use a blow dry spray. This one is the Kenra blow dry spray. Um, it smells great. Super lightweight, doesn't leave your hair feeling any sort of stickiness. And then you can use a heat protectant on your hair when you straighten it and stuff. I'm super bad about that and I personally don't just because... A lot of them do make your hair feel sticky and crunchy and gross, and I don't like that personally. So, feel free. If you have one you love, let me know down in the comments down below, and maybe I'll try one. For me, I think with helping it grow a lot is wearing my hair natural. So, my hair is naturally curly. Um, <laughs> I am super blessed to have naturally curly hair, but it's not something that I can't not put product in, because if I do, then it looks just simply crazy, and I will not go out of the house if I do that. The product that I do use is this volumizing mousse from Lange. This is all I put in my hair. I just put a few squirts in it, scrunched my hair like this. I'm pretty sure I have a video on this or I did it in a vlog. So I will leave that up here, the link to it if you guys want to see how I do that. That is what I have been doing. And then I still don't wash my hair for like five days even when I wear it natural um, because for me when I wake up, I don't know how, I'm just not a crazy sleeper. So I can wear my hair natural and it looks fine for like two days and then after that I'll wear it in like a bun for two more days or something. On days I do want my hair straight and I don't want to wash it, I will use this dry shampoo from Lange. It's super lightweight again, which I like. All you gotta do is shake it before you use it. And then for hair like gummies and stuff, these I think have really saved and changed the game. These are the Ollie Beauty gummies, they're so great. It just tastes like little fruit snacks. I'm gonna eat two right now. That's how much you're supposed to take a day. Sometimes I wake up and take two, and then sometimes I go to bed and take two, so I'm taking like four a day. <laughs> Basically it, I think the biggest thing for me is just try not to wash your hair every day. If you can, let your hair go natural. Um, take your hair gummies. Don't forget your heat protectant when you are putting heat on your hair and stop bleaching your hair. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope some of these products and steps that I take for my hair kind of help you guys. And if you're interested in trying some of these products, I highly recommend them. I love all of them that I have been using. Do you have any questions or anything? Feel free to leave them down in the comments down below and I will answer you. That being said, um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. See my peanut butter jelly snack. Pull it, ride, rusty, uh.